We are back once again. Another stack of caskets to open on this journey, my friends. 3,800 hearts, 3,800 elites faced off during this series so far. 18.4 billion GP in total has been accumulated, and hard clues are catching up to elite clues. Look at that total over on the left hand side there. There's not much difference, my friends. Two big broadcasts from hard clues, and that's done. Hard clues have won out of the series so far, right? Insane, insane. But today, well, of course, we're going to be hunting unique pieces to add to the collection, just like we do absolutely every single episode. Hard clues, we need some third age pieces and explosive barrel. Elite clues, we're going to need third age druidic wreath or rope bottoms. One of those two items for golden clue title, right? Hopefully today we can add some more uniques to the collection that is not backstab capes and that are not sacks of effigies. <laughs> Let's start the Wath of Alawada. I've got my Luck of the Dwarves on, of course. Got the Lannismith hat on, of course, infused with so much RNG. This has been on so many people's heads that have had so much RNG. So now I've just yoinked it all. Let's get a man. 200 hearts starting us off. Okay. Absolutely trash. <laughs> nice. Hey, just give me puzzle skipping tickets all day. That, that's all I want, okay? Uh, just give me max roll puzzle skipping tickets every single roll. And I'll be a happy man. Medium casket. I love to see that. Okay. I would want to see another piece of third age. Maybe a third age plate body. Could be cool to add to the collection. Nice. First master. Of course, master clues as well is going to be nice because I'm going to do another thousand master clue opening um, as soon as possible. We're about halfway there um, to another thousand master clue opening. So, And of course... In the triple Dylan sense, I have not done any of those master clues. I've just ended up um, keeping them sealed and I'll end up having to take a week off work <laughs> and just doing a, um, the master clues during that week, I think. Nice. But it's fun though and it's well worth it. Nice. Even though I have had um, the Master of Clues gold title, there's no real point for me to continue doing Master Clues to tell you that absolute truth, but GP is always nice, right? GP to add to the collection for puzzle skipping tickets. <laughs> 165k. Nice, another medium. Plus, opening up Master Clues is a lot of fun, right? And I'm very close to 10,000 total Master Clues complete. After that 1,000, then I will be up and over 10,000, which is cool. That's a cool milestone to hit. Okay. 90,000. Absolutely trash. I think the Hard Clues are just going to give us consistent GP today alone. Where are my maximum roll puzzle skipping tickets though? That's what we're really after today. Absolute garbage. 106k? What the heck? I've been looking forward to this all week, <laughs> doing some clue scrolls, getting getting to open up clue scrolls is one of my favourite parts of the week. Nice, another more puzzle skipping tickets there. Okay, 142k. And for everyone out there struggling to stack up mass, uh, clue scrolls in general, I like doing it as a time basis thing, like versus amount, right? So you could stack a whole day and then open as, as a start, right? Or you could stack a whole week and then open. You know, just slowly getting towards those goals. Um, don't don't worry too much about the amount that you stack during that time, in my personal opinion. You just stack that time, right? And then after a while you go, oh, this is actually pretty easy to stack. Maybe I'll stack a whole year. <laughs> I'm not personally going to stack a whole year, but I, I know a lot of people do, so. Okay. Um, the longest that I've stacked is probably, probably a month or so when I was doing... Um, Elite clues like big stacks of elites. Nice. 130k. But generally speaking, I'll stack like two to three days, right? Um, is, is how much time I'll need to complete these stacks of clues. Okay. And mind you, that's a lot of hours in those two to three days. There's not a, you know, four hour gaming session. That's, you know, the majority of my weekends are consumed um, from doing clue scrolls, 18 hour days, etc. <laughs> a lot of time goes into doing clue scrolls to get videos out, so that's for sure. But I enjoy it, like, nice. Where are my puzzle skipping tickets? Just give me 
all of my puzzle skipping tickets and then I'll just leave. I'll just leave the clue chasing gang forever. <laughs> First 100 is down, 100 more to go. We already made 130 million GP, my friends. Clue skulls are just such good GP. It's insane, like even just consistency, right? Oh, I've been harping on about clue scrolls for like three years. Everyone's like, oh, back to back puzzle skipping tickets. And they've just gotten better in GP, right? Because people need EOFs. People, people need like dies for switches, etc. Fashion scape. Gilded beast. Feels bad, man. Okay, 105k. Come on. 1.5 million GP. Absolutely garbage there. I kind of want to change up my fashion scape again, but I'm thinking like on the new season, like each season I change up my fashion scape just a little bit, right? I want to get something that looks good and um, for, uh, oh, nice puzzle skipping. For the purple party hat, um, I haven't actually found an outfit that looks good with it yet, which is kind of disappointing. The purple is my favorite um, colored party hat. I've still got it, um, but I'd be happy to take suggestions in the comment section down below um, for sure. Because <laughs> you guys that have been watching... Oh, let's go to Paris High. Hard clues. Let's get it, man. Hard clues coming through. Coming with the party yet once again. Another broadcast to add to the collection. 269 million GP to add to the wealth of Alouette today. Getting hard clues closer and closer and closer towards the elite clue domination. Oh, my God. Let's go, dude. Hard clues have been popping off. We went through a rough period there with sacks of effigies and backstab capes only but uh you know we we're good we're good another barrow's die that's my 50th barrow's die received in total now so i've cracked that number 50 mark which is kind of exciting as well but 269 million gp to add to the wealth of evaluator thank you hard clues once again 72 more hard caskets to go can we get it back to back never lucky <laughs> i still feel so bad about saying never lucky considering we only just like got a back to back not that long ago which it was, you know, it's almost as good as my um, Golden Master of Clues. Not going to lie. I've always wanted a back-to-back, -back, so. Nice. Another Master there as well. Ah, feels good. Hard Clues coming to the party once again, man. Oh. Hard Clues late in the series are starting to really pick up. Now we're just needing to see like big ticket items from Hard Clues. You know, like the big ticket third age items. And then I think that's when... Um, will really really start to see them shine third age plate body etc right is just worth so much gp i th actually i think third age plate legs might be worth the most i don't know i don't really care about the gp so <laughs> nice another master there 122k absolute garbage man puzzle skipping tickets insane another master 7 million GP, man. Mar oh, I can't believe it. It'd, it'd, it'd make me feel even better if I was like, okay, Dylan, yeah, cool. That's all That's all just raw profit. But no, I use all those puzzle skipping tickets, so... Nice. Okay. 217k. By the way, if you're doing close calls for GP, do not use puzzle skipping tickets. Thank you very much. <laughs> 94k. You'll see in my breakdown at the end of this series at how much GP it really eats into your profits. Nice. Spoiler alert. You see that 18.4 billion GP I've made this series? Yeah. <laughs> Final 25 hard caskets. Final 25 hard caskets. Is the magic going to be in the final 25? Are we going to see another broadcast today from Hard Clues? Are we going to see... A third age piece. The dream is alive. Let's get it. Oh, puzzle skipping tickets, man. Insane. Okay. Just skip tickets in general, man. I keep forgetting how lazy the average clue, um, average RuneScape player is. But then, I'm not surprised because I'm that lazy. <laughs> the path of least resistance, right? Nice. 525k? 93k? Absolutely garbage. Feels good though. Another broadcast to add to the collection. Another Barrow's Die. Okay. 99k. Absolute garbage. Feels good to actually get um, GP 
after all this time um, from Heart Clues. Um, 78k, absolutely garbage. Another medium casket, love to see that. Nice. Today, my friends, from Hard Clues, we made 556 million GP. That's insane, man. That's insane. That's such good GP from 200 hard caskets. Like, that's going to be a tough one to beat for elites. Elites, we're going to need to see some sort of progress. Otherwise, oh my god. We're going to need to see a big banger. We can't see backstab cakes. We can't see sacks of effigies, man. Um, of course, third age Druidic Wreath would be nice because I think that's kind of expensive. Um, like 500 mil or something, but let's go. Let's reset up the Wealth Evaluator. Nice. And we've got my honey. We've got 200 elite caskets to open today. 200 elites, man. Good opportunity to get ourselves some broadcasts. Let's get it. Nice. Absolute garbage. But of course, we could just go on a complete dry streak. Look, what happens when it comes to elite clues is I tend to go on pretty pretty rough dry streaks when it comes to big broadcasts. I'm right around that time um, where I should be expecting a third age die or a blood die. So keep that in mind as well. Um, and just in terms of stats, I could go oh, 20. 23k. How long has it been since I complained about seeds, by the way? Has it been long enough? Screw seeds, man. Jackets, remove them out of the game. <laughs> 138k. Nah. The seeds are just getting us ready. The seeds are just getting us ready to get ourselves a big broadcast. Watch for, watch for it, okay? Watch for it. Look how many masters I'm getting in a row, by the way. Insane. Okay, see? You get all the seed rolls and all the crud out of the way. And you get yourself up onto something amazing. Okay? I'm gonna predict... Hmm. What, do, what does Triple Dylan predict out of these elites? I reckon I died today, which would be kind of nice. Nice. 127k, absolutely garbage. Reroll token that we'll never use. Um, but it's good to see the hard clues. Like, at the start, they were such the underdog, and now they're just absolutely decimating elite clues, right? It's cool. 243k, absolutely garbage. Mm-hmm. Same fortunate component times too. Nice. Back to back masters again. God, the amount of masters you get from elite clues alone, like just make elite clues worth it to do. Especially if you're um gathering elite clues passively from using like Big Book um or Prosper, like any of the passive ways of gathering, if you're not actively going out and collecting elite clues, because I know that's the big barrier for a lot of people, is the gathering time. Um you should still do the actual elite clues, because they're not that bad, um, once you get in the hang of things, right? Nice three hundred and two K, absolute garbage. Okay. I'm I just have this feeling. I just have this feeling in my stomach. Hmm. That we're gonna see a broadcast today, a big one. It's gonna be like third age die, blood die. Maybe it's copium? It could be. Oh, Samaric Bow. Could be third age Druidic Wreath though. Copium and Copium and Hopium go hand in hand, right? Nice form. Jeez, tail skipping diggers. Okay, 219k. Could be another sack of effigies, imagine that though. My arch nemesis of the series rearing its ugly head at me, going, Hello, Trouble Dylan, here's another sack of effigies for you. <laughs> 229k. No, that's the gamble when it comes to elite clues, man. Like, you're either going to make an absolute ton of GP from your big lottery items, or you're going to lose money. Well, you're just not going to make as much GP as other tiers of clue, right? You're really in elite clues for the long haul um, when it comes to big broadcasts. Of course, you can get incredibly lucky. That's the beautiful thing of RNG, right? You could do four elite clue scrolls and get a blood die. But, yeah. When you're doing as many as I do, right? Nearly 30,000 um, elite clues. You're really, really in it for the long haul. Nice. Plus, my end goal is log completion anyway, so I'll keep on going until <laughs> I at least uh, uh, complete the elite log. 166k. Okay. 117k. Absolutely garbage. Okay. First 100 is down. 
We've made 82.8 million GP. It's not looking good, my friends. We still need to make 400 odd GP or 500 odd GP, right? To get us close to hard close today. That's a scary thought. Let's keep it going. We've still got a lot more opportunities. 100 elite clues is a lot, so. 2.2 there. Look how many masters this is generating. Four in a row? Oh, I thought I could get five in a row. Nice. Nice. Another master. 60 masters received today. That's insane in total. Okay. Getting us closer and closer to doing another thousand master clue unboxing. So that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Especially if these masters keep up like they are. Holy. We're going to get there closer like sooner rather than later. Mm-hmm. Nice. But we do need to see Juridic Peace. Triple four. Um, Juridic Peace soon-ish. <laughs> Hasn't been that long since our last one though, which is kind of disappointing considering it was a duplicate. And generally with Juridic's, uh, Juridic Pieces, I'll see at least one a year. Um, with my my count that I do, right? Nice. Okay. Another Orlando Smith hat prop. Thank you very much. The dream is alive. The dream is alive. I can feel it. No, Bo. Okay. We only did just get a roll on Elite Clues. Unfortunately, it was Cape Slot items, right? Breaking the... Breaking the very long dry streak with Kate Slot items, so. We could be on another. Oh my god, look at this double miss, man! Imagine that broadcast. Okay, Dragon Kane is a blood die miss. Zamorak Bow is a third age juridic miss. Imagine a double broadcast. Blood die, third age juridic. Oh my god. Imagine that. That'd be so cool. Okay, 57 more to go. What a crazy um, casket, though. Nice. Remove the seeds. Another master there. That's probably what I should just keep reroll tokens for, right? Is just continuously rerolling seeds. Just getting them out of my life. Okay, 316k. Absolutely garbage. Another master there. 215k. Oh, get it out. Nice. Hey, listen to a master. I'll take that master over any amount of GP apart from like big broadcasts. So. 260k. Oof. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Another bow. Holy moly. We're rolling on 3rd Age Juridic a lot today, which is interesting. I don't know if that's getting me primed and ready to get um, us up onto a piece of Juridic. Maybe it's a prediction, maybe it's copium, but we'll see. Nice, another master. Another master, and we're down to the final 25 elite caskets. Is the magic alive in the final 25 today, my friends? Surely it is, right? Let's get it. Okay. Oh, that loaded in so slow, I didn't know what it was. Okay. Oh, 4 million GP, insane. Not as good as um, puzzle skipping tickets, but you know, it's still a big hit. Mm -hmm. Holy moly, that's a stacked clue. Orlando Smith hat proc, master on the end, almost breaking the casket, right? That's actually kind of crazy. Getting in a lot of those crazy caskets today makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, like getting a piece of Juridic and a Blood though at the same time would, you know, be even more crazy. But, you know, it, it is what it is, right? <laughs> 293k, absolute garbage. <laughs> okay. Huh? Her elite clues leading us down for the 12th episode in a row. Surely not. <laughs> 136k. Nice. And then the final elite casket out of this stack of 200, making it 3,800 elite caskets opened on this series. So far, let's get it. 
97k. Of course, Elite Clue's coming through with the heat for the final casket, right? 97k. You love to see that. <laughs> uh, today, we made 196.9 million GP from those Elite Clues, so under a million GP a casket, which is insane to me. We did receive 86 masters in total from both the hards and elites, which is very, very nice, but. Hard Clues, absolutely dominating today. Hard Clues with the Barrows Day, adding to the collection, adding more wealth to the Wealth Evaluator as well. Slowly clawing their way back right. Consistency is king when it comes to Clue Scrolls, as we can see here. Hard Clues just, man, catching up after catching up, right? But... If you guys like this kind of content, which is just pure clue chasing content, please be sure to subscribe because this is all I do when I log on to runescape.com. So I do clue scrolls. I do hard elites and masters. I upload them to this YouTube channel. If you like this particular video, smash that like button down below. And if you have any questions, comments, queries, you just want to chat about absolutely anything, put it in the comment section down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you guys have had a fantastic day, no matter where you are in the world. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.